there are times that you want to put in headers and footers in your document uh, you click on the insert tab and you go to header and footer and you have two tabs in the screen you have a slide tab and a notes and handouts tab when you are working with the slide tab that means the information is going to show on every slide um, in your presentation. If you click on the date and time then it allows you to access the date and time area where you could choose what type of date or if you want the date and time in there. I'm just going to choose this one. And notice how it's set as update automatically. What this is set up to do is that if we open the file up tomorrow then it would come in as Wednesday October 12th. Uh, if we leave it as a fixed date, then it's fixed just particular for that one date. You can also click on slide number and it will tell you which slide number you're on. The slide number could be important if you had many, many slides in a presentation. You can click in footer and you can actually type in information you want in the footer. And we're going to type in world's foremost traveling experience and if you didn't want to show it on the main title uh, slide then you could click here and it would show there now your notes and handouts is a little bit different because in notes and handouts you can actually click in header and type your name in click in footer and type in a footer and let's say we want to call this OST 137 now when we click on apply to all for each of those you can now see that you have world's famous uh, foremost traveling experience and you have the date and the slide number on each of those slides now if you go to file and you go to print and you're looking at your notes page you can see that you set up a header and you set up the um, course name just on this notes and uh, handout page um, you can also spell check by clicking on review tab and then spelling and it'll run through and it'll find the mistakes that are in your document. You could also research information and you can also translate information to a different language. Those are just some of the things that you can do in PowerPoint.